Here is another idea that I thought of. I've never seen it done before. That doesn't mean that it hasn't been done before. However, it might provide people who live in areas where the ground freezes and can push or heave concrete footings out of the ground. Another way to fasten the bottom of a stairway to the ground. And that would be to use footings and beams, something like this. I have an eight foot beam here. And I kind of built it in a way to where the beam will create another step. And the reason why I'm making the video is recently I came across one where the individual had installed one footing, one large footing for each individual stair stringer. And that's a lot of concrete, a lot of footings, and could be eliminated if something like this was approved by your local building department. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. We are going to have footings. They are going to be installed below the frost line. And we're going to use hangers if necessary. Here we have inverted hangers on this end. And I have a little different situation on the other end. And we can notch the stringers to fit over the beam or use hangers to attach the beam to the stringer. And I won't be able to provide you with any lumber or footing sizes for something like this. Or do what most people do, just build it anyway and hope for the best. And you can use different hardware to attach the beams to your concrete footings. And you can even use treated lumber if you need to. And you could even forget about installing these joists by simply changing the direction of the decking, running it this way, and then run the decking this way for the rest of your stair steps. And something like this might work for your last step. If you need to lower the soil for some reason, you could just simply build a box and drive some stakes into the ground on the outside or the inside. Obviously the inside is going to be better for this side here. And then attach the perimeter boards to the stakes, metal or wood, and then fill the box with gravel to create another step. And again, you're going to want to have it the same width. And the reason why you're going to be filling it with gravel is because, again, you live in an area where frost in the soil is going to be a problem. And if for whatever reason this ends up getting out of shape, deformed somehow, you can always empty the gravel to adjust the forms or adjust the forms with the gravel in the box if that's going to work for you. Or you can raise the soil and then put a few inches of gravel on top of the soil, just as long as the water can drain out of the gravel. Next up, let's go ahead and put a couple of these stairways together to provide you with an example of how you could attach the two beams to one footing. And you can see here where they're breaking on the center of the footings and how the gravel can kind of go under here. You're not going to have a big problem as long as the gravel can drain the water away from the lumber. However, I get it. I don't have a lot of experience with the snow and could see something like this as a big water collector. The water's going to seep into the gravel, freeze, and then create problems for our lumber. So again, that might be another reason why you might consider using some type of ground rated or pressure treated lumber that would survive those kinds of situations. So hopefully this helps or at the very least provides you with a few ideas that might help you get started with a project like this. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave those in the comment area along with any tips or someone might have built something like this and it worked great or it didn't work great, let us know in the comment area.